Good day, grade 9 students. Today, we are going to discuss our topic, which is about what is scratch. In this lesson, you will learn the characteristic of scratch and its user interface. Our learning target for the day is, I can understand the scratch interface. After designing the game, the next stage is coding. Coding can be done using different programming language. Last time, we were able to differentiate two types of programming, the text-based programming and visual text programming. As we develop our game in this subject, we are going to use the Scratch application. Scratch is a free and educational block-based coding language that was developed at the MIT. It is widely known with more than 76 million registered users worldwide. Scratch is designed as intuitive type of software, which means that its user interface is easy to learn. You can create a program by using the drag and drop technique. Scratch uses blocks that are put together to create a program. Each block has a command that manipulates the object on the stage to create animation and programming. You drag a block and place it on the code area, making them attach like Lego pieces. When the code blocks are put together, it forms a script. A script is a series of connected code blocks that determines how the sprite and backdrop will behave on the stage. Scratch helps in creative thinking logical thinking, and enables a collaborative learning experience. To start with your session in Scratch, you have to go to the taskbar and click on the search button. Then, on the type here to search box, type Scratch. Next is to click Scratch from the list. So you can now enjoy and explore the Scratch application. Scratch provides an interface that contains all the commands and tools for creating projects. Now, let's explore the Scratch interface. The Scratch 3.0 interface has the following components. First is Heather. It is the bar contains a context menu, tools, links, and an options that can be used in Scratch. Second is Sprite Paint. It is the section that contains the tools for adding and modifying the sprites in your project. Third is Backdrop Paint. It is the section that contains the tools for adding a background to your project. Fourth is the Code tab. It is the tab where you add codes and run scripts. The Code tab contains the black palette and the code area. The black palette, which is the area on the left of the screen, containing the nine buttons that serve as compartments for the code blocks depending on their classification. The code area, which is the space where code blocks are dragged and arranged to form scripts. Fifth is the costume tab. It is the tab that contains tools for adding and modifying the costume of the sprite. Next is the sound tab. It is the tab that contains tools for adding and modifying sounds in the project. Last but not the least is the stage, the area where sprites do the actions program through blocks. Since we know the components of user interface, let's proceed now in the components of the stage. The stage has the following components. First is the go button, the green flag icon that is used to run the scripts in the project. Next is the stop button, the red octagon icon that is used to stop all running scripts. Next is small stage layout, a stage size where the stage is smaller and the code area is bigger. This layout gives more space for adding scripts. Then, regular the stage normal mode and last is the full screen the size which fits the stage to the computer screen resolution when you click on this button the other parts of the scratch window are hidden 
only the stage will be shown on the screen. In this view, you will be able to play the scripts but will not be able to edit the sprite. Now, we have the Backdrop tab. It only appears when you click on the thumbnail of the Backdrop on the Backdrop page. It contains tools for adding and modifying the Backdrop in your project. Now, I hope that everything is clear to you. Since we are done with our discussion, I want you to explore the Scratch application as part of our activity. Write the things you observe while browsing it, and we will talk about it during the next meeting. That concludes our video for today. I hope you can now understand the Scratch interface. Thanks for watching!